Hey everybody, it's the Snowman, and welcome to another exciting video from SNO Multimedia. Today I'm going to show you what you need to have in a survival cache. Hey honey, I found the remote. I keep a flashlight on top in case I'm going to uncover this in the dark. So, uh, and remember, keep your batteries separate because they have a sh long shelf life, but if your batteries go dead, then they can corrode the contacts inside of your flashlight and make it worthless. So uh, keep your batteries separate. I've got a bag in here with the batteries. All right, let's get down here and we'll unload this. So let's take these items out. Paracord. Always have a use for paracord. Food. Got some spam, sardines, some salmon, some beans, some more salmon. Okay, this is a Ruger 1022. This is my go to gun for a survival cache. It's light, so if I'm going to have to carry it a long ways, that's a primary consideration. I've also got uh, actually, I have a total of three 10 round magazines. So, this is a good item to have in your stash. You can have whatever kind of gun you want, okay? But I like 22 because it's light, it's versatile, and you can shoot it for cheap. So, I do a lot of practicing with a 22. You need to have some candles, they'll come in handy. I've got an Esbit stove. You know, that's not, uh, that's not required in every one of your survival caches, but you should have one in at least one of your caches so you can cook. Okay, I've got a desiccant pack to keep the contents relatively dry and I had it sealed with some Teflon tape. Silicone caulk is a good alternative to the Teflon tape. Remember when you go to your cache, take some kind of a tool to open it with. Channel lock pliers, a large channel lock is a good option. Uh, you can also carve out a square hole in a small log. And we demonstrate that actually in the Jack Phoenix movie. Here are the batteries for the flashlight. Another magazine, so that's a total of three magazines. Ammo, two, three hundred rounds of ammo for the 22. Hard tack. Okay, the canned goods, I'll probably eat them on location, maybe take one can with me. It's kind of heavy. The hard tack will go a long way. I have an empty Sport Berkey bottle. It has a built-in filter and I've got a video demonstrating its use. Why empty? Because I don't really have any way to keep this from leaking and getting the contents wet. So I have an empty bottle. This survival cache was hidden in a location that has plenty of surface water. So storing water is not my main consideration in this location. Extra clothes, underwear of course, socks, now listen, I recommend a wool hat. Okay, I'm preparing for cold weather here, so I've got wool socks and you should have gloves and a hat. I've always got them with me um, in my everyday carry bag, so I don't have to have them inside of every one of my caches. I do have some caches that have hats and gloves uh, hidden away in case for some reason I get separated from my everyday carry bag. Okay, not every tube is gonna have all the contents that you need. I'm demonstrating, you know, if you've only got one and you need to figure out what to put in it, start with these items. I've got a survival kit here, very important. I've got canned goods, so I have a Swiss Army knife to open them with, okay, because that has a can opener. If you don't have that, use some other sort of a multi-tool or just a dedicated can opener like a P38. Survival kit has fire starting equipment. It has, so it has matches, it's got a striker, here's another, here's a P38, it's got a compass. I've demonstrated the contents of my survival kit elsewhere. I'll just mention a couple of items. You need some sort of a blade, just in case, and you need uh, fire starting equipment, signal mirror, and uh, some basic first aid items. I've got a suture kit, I've got some disinfectant, I've got a couple of uh, water decontamination pills, I've got a couple of painkillers and I've got a couple of anti-inflammatories. I forgot to mention bandages, okay? A couple of band-aid 
Band-Aid brand is good, Curad is good, and that's what you should have in your basic medical kit. All right, so that's the basic contents that you need to have in a survival cache. And we'll talk about the kind of container and where to hide it, like the geographic location of hiding it, and then the means of concealment. So like burying it or hanging it up in a tree or putting it in a barn somewhere and disguising it as something else. We'll talk about all of those methods of concealment in another episode. But right here, these are the items that you need to have in a survival cache.